All right, today we have three things that we're looking at. One of them is whew, really interesting, really, really, really interesting. Work from home policy um, being touted by the government to be something that they, you know, they're really going to put interest into because they bought an RFP. Once they bought an RFP for a consultant, that means a billion dollars going to get spent on something. <laughs> uh, we don't know yet. Uh, the second one is AI robots in um, in restaurants in Trinidad. They had an article talking about that. And um, I found the article to be kind of laughable, but um, uh, we will talk about it. We will talk about it because it would it would a little talk <laughs> and um chat gpt versus bad i got um early access to google's ai um competitor for chat gpt named bad and well we have some observations we have some observations and i think um we will try to do some some double prompts and see how one answers how the other answers speed accuracy all that kind of stuff from a caribbean perspective so, my name is um, Mr. Charles from Make It Simple TT, and this is... I'm uh, Mr. Redbit Tech, Redbit yeah. underscore tech. Redbit underscore tech, who has started back doing TikTok videos more yeah. regularly. <laughs> and I have, I've fallen off the map. Well, yeah. I fall off the map. There's only podcast clips going up these days. It'll probably have like one or two yeah. um, scripted TikTok going up um, every week these days because real work passing right now, real, real work. Well, yeah. to prepare them children for the exams but there we go first topic work from home policy and um there are two things i need to show i need to show you the website not the website the um the youtube clip and then i'll show you the rfp that they put out for it for a consultant because hey we all need we all need consultants don't we all right so here's the um youtube clip as <laughs> the government is pushing ahead with modernizing the public service, bringing it to 21st century standards. They are embarking on work from home policies, which will fit snugly into offering public services, utilizing a virtual platform. Mary Therese Bernard spoke to the public administration minister about the proposed change in the work model. Minister of Public Administration Alison West explained that advancing technology is driving government's revised approach to public service. The world is changing and the government has to be flexible and change the thought. We are, as you know, in the process of digitalizing the public service, which means that we are moving to a place that allows our clientele to interact with us virtually for most of what they need. Therefore, it will no longer require the people who are serving these customers to be in a physical space to be able to do that. She said this new path can remedy the headache associated with traffic for coming to work. Along with this, other benefits are anticipated. During the pandemic, when we go on lockdown, the benefits of having parents being more flexible in terms of having the opportunity to schedule their work in a particular time that allowed them to better interact with their children, especially the younger children. And therefore, we see many benefits of having people be given the flexibility of being able to work from home. What we are trying to ensure is that as and when we introduce that option, it does not negatively impact the provision of the services. The minister acknowledged that it is difficult to give a measured assessment of the outcomes of the work from home plan during the pandemic, but said anecdotal evidence cues the outcomes to a positive conclusion. She explained that the consultant will take on the challenge of steering the changes. We are asking for somebody to, to come in to do an assessment of how we need to structure the work from home to get a great communication brief, what things we need to put in place, something as simple as identifying the jobs that allow for work from home at that point. Minister West said her ministry is responsible for. All right, that's enough there, right? Yeah. So, um, to me, so, this, this video sounds like uh, there was some way to come from scratch. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, like for me, first thing, right? Do you remember? I don't know if you remember, like a couple of months ago, the question was posed to the government, you know, about work from home, and, you know, and they sort of sidestepped it, you know, and came up with reasons why it 
probably wouldn't work. So I prob I would like to know what brought about this change and you know this new way of thinking. Well, it'll be good to 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 understand. You know, because I saw she mentioned, you know, it had a lot of advances in technology since last time. But in my mind, what advances you know since that last time to now that would enable them to actually implement our work from home solution you know so that's that's interesting to know i mean my my personal reason is that they probably was trying to get the the website up to accept the tenders <laughs> <laughs> nobody had it that in the papers man that in the what you have what you press really say the Ministry yeah. of Public Administration is moving forward with developing our comprehensive remote our remote from work policy, um, remote work policy, sorry. And yeah. they have a RFP for consultancy for the development of the policy in Trinidad Civil Service. And mm. um, they have to submit it via ebox, which is eboxtenders.com forward slash MPA for interested persons who what's ebox? Ebox tenders is a is a is our website or like Oh, that's a local thing. Probably, probably our service to ebox tenders. Oh, right. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a service. Yeah, it's a no no no, is that training thing? Yes. Oh shocks. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Look, okay. look, look, look. Wow. Watch. The website yeah. is showing you the twin towers and thing and Ebox tenders is a software that's a hey, hey, look, we have a local tender um I look analytics on thing. Well, this is nice. This is nice. Let me see who build this site. Uh reform policy, no, nothing about it. Right? Who, but who built this site, boy? I wanna see what it built with. Mm. I'll check in now. Uh... Oh contact us. Let me see contact us. Government plaza, yeah, it built it. The contactors taking it to the government plaza. I wonder if it's the Ministry of Digital Transformation build it here. It looks so. I mean, I would guess. Yeah, okay. Anyhow, back here. Yeah, oh, oh, you know, it could be the same silver bullet consultant. <laughs> From the um, police? <laughs> um, yeah, so here's the, the, the press release says, the minister went on to state that the MPA is working closely with the Ministry of Labor to develop a policy. To develop, listen, <clears throat> a forward-thinking, proactive framework, we must consider several issues bearing in mind that not every employee meets the criteria to work remotely. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about monitoring our employees' progress online, but also about being proactive in ensuring that there is a framework that adequately addresses all relevant issues from the nature of the job to the readiness of the agency's platform and clearly identifies the remote location requirements to accommodate remote work activity. Above all, it is critical to ensure that remote work is consistent with the government of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago's drive to improve the provision of public services to our citizens and stakeholders. Well, they say in the right words. They say in the right words. All that, all that, all that, all that was to say, um, we ain't just going to be like, well, tell everybody you could work from home because the agency's platform has to be able to handle it. And that is where I, where I want to start. Which, which government service has a platform in place that could handle work from home properly and um, not have any issues where people can't connect to the server, they can't connect to the VPN, things like that. You, have, you ever, like, in your talks with anybody or anything like that, you ever heard of any um, government service that has, a, like, a proper infrastructure for you to say all right here take this laptop install yeah. this program use this vpn you're inside all right cool log in you could work as if you're by your desk right now securely yeah i'll be honest with you and i do really engage with much people that work in the government in that technology i don't really know much people in that space okay so i wouldn't be able to you know but neither do i <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but, I, I, I fully understand what they're saying in terms of not everybody could work from home because apart from your job, the actual job, not every job you could, you know, do remotely and not every person going to be responsible enough, unfortunately, 
to be to be trusted to work at home. Somebody might send them to work home and you call them 12 o'clock in the day and then Maracas eating a vegan shark. It's all people like that. I see people I work where I work, it's all people that work from home. I work from home. And it's all sometimes you're trying to reach people and the MIA. Sometimes they answer the phone. Yeah. Say, yeah, I was I was on the beach, I was and you know, and the I um, just played on Twitter, so I I think um one of the things that they that they they really said that they they looking at is monitoring monitoring our employees' progress online is yeah. not just about you being available. It had to have metrics now and deliverables. Yeah, and metrics and deliverables. Not every department could have metrics and deliverables that will be able to be measured on a weekly basis to say, all right. You were supposed to complete 15 spreadsheets. Um, you completed all 15 of them. Great. You worked from home. And who kind of determines the amount of work that you have to do in, in public administration? Because right now, I know for sure, it had nobody measuring work. Okay. I know, I know so, but some, there's one place that I know for sure that I, I know somebody who's working inside there. Nobody does measure your work inside it. Basically, people has come to work. Reach to work eight o'clock, go and get breakfast between eight and nine. Come back in the office nine o'clock, sit down by the desk to eat the breakfast, yeah. and then do some sort of work or whatnot, drop off some file or something, kind of thing, then go for lunch at 11 and come back at one o'clock and then leave at two because yeah. that's time, right? Yeah. No, and then there's a certain time of the year where they have a lot of work to do. And it's have like one or two people or one or a uh, few people that stay back to get all the work done for that. When it's like budget time and thing, right? Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> if a if our organization doesn't have internal metrics, that consultant gonna die a thousand deaths trying yeah. to figure out how to apply metrics to work from home because it don't have any internal metrics. And I believe if I were to bet money that the problem gonna be that the work from home policy wouldn't be able to be implemented because there is no proper management of work from office right now. Mm -hmm.